Hello Nigerians, we are still on tour of the north central zone of the country and you know what we are doing here, what we are doing is looking at the road transformation in this zone. We've been to uh, Kogi, we've been to Benue, um, the popular Vandekia or Budu Road, we've been there, we've seen the kind of tourism that is booming out there and what we are doing right here is that very soon you'll be seeing the wonders of engineering where our engineers have to practically cut a very big gigantic rock into two to create a road for the people of Vaughan and the people of uh, Machok in Kaduna. Vaughan is in Jaws and Machok is in Kaduna. Before now, I've been told they practically didn't have an access between the two communities and now this very road that has been created is serving a very, it's doing a very, very fantastic work. Now there's movement between the people of Vaughan and the people of Manchok. But what I've been told is that it is not just the people of Vaughan and the people of Manchok. Rather, it is Nigerians moving from um, Jos to Kaduna, from Kaduna to other parts of the country. It's a fantastic access that has been created. First and foremost, we are going to speak to the controller, Federal Minister of Works here, to tell us his experiences. And then we're going to take a drive. We're going to take a drive through the road so that you can see the wonders, the transformation that is going on in our roads, being done by the present government. Okay, now we have one person that can tell us the history of this road. I have been told I don't live here, but he works here. He has been part of the people making things happen here. So he will be able to tell us a better history of the Von Manchok Road. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing okay. Thank All right. you very much. Yeah. Could you um, face the camera? Please tell us your name and your, um, uh, what you do here. I am an engineer, Pius DAE. I am the federal controller of uh, works in Plateau State. I'm uh -huh. in charge of all the federal roads within Plateau State here. What we are doing, really, is that we are on a tour of the north central zone of the country. That's right. And we are looking at the road transformation presently going on here. Yeah. And um, one road that we've seen on TV and on the newspapers, on the pages of newspapers, and in different places is the Von Manchok Road. And we've actually been, you know, too, too taken away by the, the big rock that we've seen. And I remember the uh, minister called it the wonders of engineering. That's right. What I want you to do is just appreciate in all the federal government presence as far as road is concerned in um, Plateau State yeah. and what it does for the people of uh, um, Plateau, the locals here, if they are taking advantage of it, is the road empowering them? Are they able, has their life changed in any way because of road? So I can see people trading here now and I would believe that it wasn't like that before. So what actually has been the impact of uh, road construction uh, to the people of uh, um, Plateau, State. Plateau State, especially those living around this area. Yeah. Road development generally, we all know, has a very positive impact on localities or the vicinities within which roads are built. In Plateau State here, the federal government has completed Langtang Lalin Road. They have also completed and we have handed over this for Manchuk Road. Also in Plateau, we are supervising a major arterial road between Kaduna Town and the Joss on Pambegua, on Pambegua Saminaka Joss Road. So far, well, recently also, another project was awarded, which is the Jamei Basha Road, that is in the southern part of Plateau State. Obviously, this road has had a very great impact on the lives of the people around here. The Vermanchok Road, as you know it, 
that is historically connecting two closely knit, two closely affiliated communities that have been divided by state creation into Plateau on one side and Vom and um, Kaduna on the other side. Um, the road has had a great impact because he tattooed. I was here when the Honorable Minister of Works commissioned the road. And I recall that when we went on a thank you visit to the chief of VAM, he recalled with a lot of strong feelings the difficulties they were experiencing climbing over the rocks to move from VAM and to connect there are other people who are in Kaduna State. And he was really, really, really very grateful to the federal government that the road has not been built and this has made their access a lot easier than what it used to be. So it has really had a lot of impact. The road also has now, after completion, has become an alternative route for people who want to travel from Joss in Plateau State to even Abuja. It has become an alternative route. Hitherto, they have had to usually move from here, go through Gidan Wire, and then through Kefi onto Abuja. But now, because of the security issues, because of uh, the number of uh, checkpoints that exist on that other road, a lot of people are now moving using this route. They pass through here from here to. Manchok from Manchok to Kafanchan, Kafanchan to Kwe, and Manova come out around Jere, and from Jere they come out around Buari in Abuja. I have flied it myself, and I think it's a superb connection, and right. it's a, a, an indicator of the transformation, the impact of the transformation this government is having on the lives of the people. Yeah. Like I was saying, you were talking about movement. Movement means that a lot of traffic, more than what used to be here, has been generated. And these people are bringing out their farm produce, basically potatoes and uh, other vegetables like tomatoes, pepper and whatnot, going in search of their patrons 
who are more now on the roots. And that's why you find a great number of a people, a, lot, a great number of people doing street trading around here. So obviously it has had a lot of economic impact. As we go further up and as we go towards the Ghana Wuri communities, you will see one of the popular farm produce they call Acha that the people produce there. You will find it on, along, the, people are all along the road also selling. Perhaps if the road was not there, they might have had to relocate to the only major access we used to have. But now they have alternatives and I think more and more people are coming out to come and uh, trade. So there's been an economic boom. Johnny, question. Ha. If I know see my Johnny, Okay, if you, as you they shade and so, people when they pass, they buy them from you. Yes. Uh, so, you go buy them because uh, this road day, uh, people they pass. Yeah, so. Okay. So, uh, a day now, you they feel safe for here. I just sell them. You just sell them, man. Eh? Uh, before you begin sell for here, what do you do before? I the farmer. Before I sell. The farmer. So when you farmer now, this one give you opportunity to sell them. My heart. Eh? Okay. So are you the use and they, they take care of the family? No, sir. Yeah. That is good. Come now. Show. Uh, sorry. Show. Uh, hey, we come. We come. Make we call interview now about this road. You know, at least this road. What impacts? How is it improving your lives? This road where we there now. Have you not get any impact? Eh, we do use and do business. Uh, mm -hmm. did, they sell, did they buy? Yeah, they used to buy. Okay. Mm. So how did they, they buy? Did they buy plenty? Yeah, they used to buy plenty sometimes. sometimes. They used to buy plenty then sometimes. No, sir. Yeah, buy no market. Sometimes we would get. Sometimes no. No market. If say the road not there, mm. you think the sales where you get now go go day the same? If say this road not there here before? No, no. nobody did. You know go there. Mm. So because the road day now, mm. so it has made a... Uh, your sales very plenty, very plenty. and it's because of the road that's why you brought we your things to this place this pl uh, uh, so that people this, where they pass uh, go see the goods come by i've been up so
Nani talk say I no do am Like the way Cynthia they do Johnny give you che bele He talk say he want marry nene Who walk him ke di pene me Johnny mo, Johnny mo I'm looking for my Johnny wonders of engineering where a gigantic rock like this was divided into two to give the community a road as you can see this is a rock that has been broken into two yes. and uh, when the minister came to commission this uh, road he said this is the wonders of engineering and when I first saw it I told myself this should be a tourist center and I told myself, one day, I will be here. And I'm here now. And I hope people watching it, people looking at it, would uh, know that something has happened here. It is, um, normally they say that it was going to be an impossibility to have a road pass through this place. But today, it is the beauty of the community. There's nobody that will pass through this place for the first time that would stand, that would stop to appreciate the great work that has been done here. And I have some of the locals here who today are able to move about. Most of them are farmers. Most of them have uh, one work or the other they do. But for the mere fact that they didn't have road to pass before, it was a big difficulty for them. But now they're here and they're happy. Hello, come, come, come. Come on, tell me a little story about this road. How are you? Fine, sir. Okay. Yeah. Tell me your name. My name is Song Enchin. Tell me about this road. Tell me about these wonders that we are seeing here. 
How long have you been living here? Uh, we are staying here for a uh, long, and we want to appreciate the federal government that they, 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 they bring this project. We are very happy with it. We are enjoying the, pro the, the project, and before we was working at that uh, or, uh, at the at the on top of the rock, but now uh, we are very happy that uh, this road is clear. We are also telling the engineer that is the one that uh, constructed this road, and we turn the federal government for the uh, the 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 help they help us the people of Ganauri with the road. Uh, we are the farmer. We also thank them that we are enjoying. Our wife used to bring stick and keep it on the road. Firewood. And firewood, I mean to say. And then uh, people may come from the different places and buy it at the uh, and buy it at the higher price. We also appreciate that. We also thank, thank the federal government that when we are going to, uh, at least in Sajos, we will spend less than the one that we was spending before. I'm talking about transportation. And there are so many things that we achieve just because of this uh, federal government road project. So we thank that. We also thank the people that they work here. We thank God that they, 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 he, he gives the people a good living life that they construct this road. Yes. So, uh, you, you, you marry? Me? Yeah. I marry. Okay. So what is your experience of the road? But now, <clears throat> I never... I'll never talk uh, English too much. Talk as you like that. Huh? Talk as you talk as you. Okay, like myself. We appreciate uh, this government for this road. Because since we did so hard too much, but now you see everything is very cheap for us. Then according to working, we are working very simple now. And uh, if we want to go some, somewhere like we want to drive, like Abuja, the place is very uh, closer than us, than f uh, forward. Because forward is very deep. So now we appreciate it, we thank God in this road. But uh, one thing is that we want the government again to, 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 to look the, the road very well, because the road is very cracked again. And we want it to, to, to encourage the, 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 the workers to look the, the road because the road is very get a problem too much. So we tango too much in this road. Okay. You say you people used to pass there? Yes, we used to pass there when we are going to the bush uh -huh. for farming. How? How? How possible? Eh? By lake. By lake. We use we lake. Use lake. There is no road before. And now there is road. That is why we are very happy. We are enjoying this road. Too much. So you can actually use, you can actually trip through the top of... Yes. By the time that we are climbing, we, uh, if you climb, let's say, uh, 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 less than, uh, one hour. One, less than one hour, you may tire, tired, unless you sit down and rest before you, you finish the rest, the rest. But now, when we are walking, we will walk. There is nothing will disturb us, nothing like tired, and we are just passing through. We really thank the federal government for this project. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Mm.
looking for my honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're telling me this, you're telling me that. I say this is not for me. Johnny, do me funny. Johnny, do me funny. He's doing me this, he's doing me that. But I know what's him on me. He go Canada, he go Tokyo. Yes, he day, he say, he day Morocco. He dance the sicko, he sing a willow. Na lie, na lie, na be no kiyo. Well, right, gentlemen of the press, if I were here this afternoon, uh, just to show, just to showcase one of the success stories of the Federal Ministry of War under the leadership of our dear President, President Gulak and Billy Jonathan. Uh, this role was awarded, in fact, a couple of years ago, but the road had faced a lot of challenges. But on the coming of Mr. President, Dr. Goodluck and Billy Jonathan, uh, we were given the matching orders to bring this project to its completion. If you look at the terrain, it's a particularly difficult terrain. And uh, this is one of the wonders of uh, engineering. And you can see that this road is a first class road, it's a road that can 
measure with any kind of road in anywhere in the world. In fact, this road has been well constructed. Uh, the construction company that did this project for Federal Ministry of War, uh, PWU, is one of our very good contractors. And we're happy that this road, which was eventually taken over by the Federal Ministry of War, so sometime last year has been washed and maintained for this uh, different ability period. And we are satisfied. And the road formally will be commissioned today. And, and I have the privilege on behalf of the President and Commander in Chief of the Federal of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic mm -hmm. of Nigeria, Dr. Zulok, the village in and GCF Arrow, to commission this road for the use of our, of our fellow countrymen and women and to the glory of God. <laughs> So we believe that very soon we shall be commissioning quite a number of roads across the country. Uh, we've just started from this point. Uh, we are in the plateau now, and I'm sure uh, very quickly we shall move to the northeast, the northwest, the north central, the south south, the south east, and the southwest to commission a few other projects that the Federal Ministry of War uh, have completed. Uh, Honorable Minister. This is a wonderful project looking at the landscape and um, being an access road for the people. Part of the problem we have in this country is the attitude of road users, overloaded vehicles, burning tires on the road and what have you. What message can you pass to the Nigerian public? Well, first of all, let me say the way the condition of this road now where we are standing right now is, is wonderful and it's pleasant to road users and all that. So it is true that in our country, uh, road users have been very indifferent in preserving uh, roads of this kind of uh, character and quality. So my appeal to them is that they should know that any road alignment in this country is constructed by the government to serve the needs of the people and to promote economic growth and national integration. So and we all have a responsibility to ensure that the roads are properly maintained so our attitude to the road should be such that all our action should be at preserving the good state of the road. So we must refrain from abusing the road infrastructure either by way of arbitrary parking at the edges or by burning tires or by putting foreign objects on the road and all that in the course of our usage of the road. And uh, once that happens, Nigerians will be in for good days. But I can assure you that with the ongoing transformation of the road sector under President Gulok, Ebele, Jonathan, better days are indeed here for Nigeria road users. Yes, sir, what other measures are you putting in place to take uh, uh, contractors, abuse, or, or to ensure that they use high quality material so that it can last like we are saying? If I were, what, what, we, what we can do about that is what exactly we are doing now. The specification on the road is quite clear. So we, our engineer representative and supervisors on all this project have a responsibility to ensure that road contractors, they carry out their work in accordance with the specification. And uh, all things that have to do with standards as, as entrenched in the Bill of Engineering Measurement and Evaluation. And uh, don't forget too that we have independent monitors who are also monitoring to see what they are doing. And at any point in time where we find any of our engineers wanting, we shall, we shall make out appropriate sanctions on any area engineer of the Federal Ministry of Work. Yes, I briefly comment on the... And we also do the same for contractors who are cutting corners. Yes, are the socioeconomic benefits of this road? Mm -hmm. Well, there is no doubt that this uh, road will promote uh, economic activity in the country because it's going to improve uh, movement of people and goods from one part of the country to another. And don't forget that the, uh, the city of Jaws is a commercial center and uh, is also going to support mining activities in this part of the country, thereby contributing to growth in the gross domestic product of our country. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Seeing the minister concerning this, uh, we're very happy about this. Okay. During the launching of this road, it will have been taken about almost 12 years, since 2001. People come out in mass 
the tech was by surprise today. You would have seen people a lot here to welcome the commissioner, the, uh, the minister, mm -hmm. for uh, uh, commissioning of this road. Our people are very happy about it. Sometimes, about 10 years ago, we usually trek on legs on the hill to Ghana, where to Mancha. But now it's very simple. So, so we are very grateful about it. Right. So, like the minister said, the transformation, you uh, are uh, having the feel of it here now. Well, we are having the feeling of it. <laughs> okay. Okay, what would be your contribution in terms of maintaining uh, the Our contribution, like you have uh, asked the, the commissioner of the minister, bon, uh, the minister that burning uh, tires on the road, it is left for us that we should talk to our subjects. We should uh, uh, be careful on that. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes. Let's have the good name.